so happy to be here with you again. You know, I had a lesson on Monday and then nothing in the week. And on Friday again, I can see you guys. I'm so happy about that. Right, I'm going to open your microphones. Kunyuki, you'll be the first. Please say hi to us and introduce yourself. Morning, Kunyuki. Welcome to class. Okay. Morning, uh, good morning, teacher. My name is Sarah Alexo. My nickname is Yuki. I live in uh, Chatham, South Thailand. Uh, I, am, I am a lecturer in uh, physics. At the oh, wow. uh, 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 my hobby is research for for, uh, for my students. What what kind of music do you do? You do a specific instrument or just music in general? Huh? I can please. Do, do you do a certain instrument, um, kun kunyuki, or do you just? Music in general. Uh, I am not, I, I I am not music in general. And I you say you say music M U S I C. Music. Yeah. Ah. Like that. I, 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 I. Can you write it for me? Am I am I hearing correctly? Maybe I'm not hearing correctly. I am, I am, I am, I am a uh, lecturer, I understand. I am a lecturer and uh, I am not usually music. I, uh, I am, I am, uh, I am interested, I, I interest, I in, interest, uh, with, with, uh, With, with, with. I'm interested <laughs> in. <laughs> write it in Thai. You can write it in Thai, and then I will translate it for us. Okay. Okay. Because because I'm very curious about what you do. What <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I I do I do research research. Research, yes, 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 yes. As day. a lecturer, you will probably be able to do research. Uh -huh. Okay, look, I'm going to ask Kun Yu um, to introduce yourself. But in the meantime, write your subject. Can you write it for me in Thai so that I can translate it? And then I'll give you a phrase to use in English. Okay, Kun Yuki? Good morning, Tisha. Yes, <laughs> pass Thai Yes. You can write it in Write it in Thai. Write your subject. Write it in Thai. Okay? In the chat box. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. I'm going to say goodbye to you now. Okay. Can you? Yes. Can you? Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you, Tisha. And you? And you, are you there? Yeah, I'm, yeah. Uh, I... Oh, no. It jumped again. I, I. this thing. When you, I'm sorry. The, <laughs> the microphones jump up and down, and then we, we make mistakes all the time. Oh. <laughs> Can you, I'm with you now. Am I with you now? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, can you, can you tell me something about yourself and introduce yourself to us? Uh... My name is Yutupum Namong. Uh, my nickname mm -hmm. is my nickname is Yut Yut. Uh, I am fifty-eight years old. Yes. I am now retired. I live in Payao, north of Thailand, and my hobby are taking photos and videos. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. That's a very interesting hobby. Do you do hobbies of nature? Do you do pictures, videos of nature things, yes. or do you focus on people? What kind of videos do you like to take? Uh, yes, I I love to take photo uh, for everything, just as uh -huh. the, just as the environment in uh, city, all the culture and uh, attraction and everything. I want to take picture. 
and videos. And the north of Thailand is so beautiful. Yes, you know, the nature is so beautiful in the north of Thailand. Yes, yes I think so. Mm. Is there are many attractions in my hometown? Yes, that's right. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much for that. You know, that's a very interesting hobby for a person who is retired because. When we are retired, it doesn't mean that our brain stops working. We want to continue on. Now I am retired, but look at what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. I'm teaching online because I cannot stop. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you very much. Right. Okay. So the last one, Queen Kao, how are you? Uh, I'm fine. Thank you. How are you today, teacher? I'm perfect today. Thank you very much. Very happy to be back here with you. Uh, uh, can you please uh, introduce yourself everyone. to us? Hello everyone, my name is Kyo. I'm a business owner. I live in Bukhim Thani. And my hobby is reading and exercise. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for that. So how's business in Bukhim Thani today? Is the weather okay? No rain expected? Uh, this morning, no rain, but uh, I'm so hot. Uh, yes, Cambodia as well. Early morning, but I'm already sweating. It's really terrible. And I think I have to know that uh, maybe you have uh, uh, rain. Maybe you have rain. Um, you know, we have rain in, during the daytime, like in the afternoon always, but it doesn't even help. Even if it rains, it's still hot. It doesn't matter. It doesn't even cool down the, the area a little bit. Okay, so I presume we have to the class guys so today we're going to talk about talking with your teacher um thank you very much if you have arrived um i want to give you a job um kun yuki she she is teaching something at the university but for me it sounded like she said music i just want to know out find out the subject that she wants to that she's teaching um and I, I, I don't know if it's music. I want to know if I have heard correctly. Okay. All right. So back to the subject at hand today. Talking with your teacher. About talking with your teacher. <laughs> All right. So let us see. At the end of today's lesson, we are going to be able to talk with our teacher about your problems. Okay. So this does not have to be your problems because you guys are not at school probably. And you can talk to the teacher about your children's problems or your grandchildren's problems if you're retired, like when you So talk to your teacher about your problems. I'm going to write here um, yourself or your child or your children. Oh, sure. Okay. So that we know it's not only our own problems. And during this talking, we are going to learn how to pronounce the sounds of E and E correctly. And we are going to get some new vocabulary in the dialogue box. You know those big bold letters? <laughs> those letters will tell us how to make sentences um, that we can use when we talk about talking with our teacher. Okay. So that's the new vocabulary. And our warm up. Ah, okay, very good. When you okay, describe your favorite teacher, please. Oh, now I open. Can you? Sorry, you know this thing jumps around. It makes me crazy. Can you? Yes. Can you describe your favorite teacher, please? My teacher. Uh, he is uh, a strict teacher. However, very kind. And mm -hmm. and uh, the the second is uh, he is a uh, funny and caring in student. And the oh yeah. And and the, la the last yes. the, the last one I think the teach my teacher make up uh, make us uh, laugh by telling a lot of joke. Oh okay, so the class is light and and friendly and happy. Yeah, very oh, funny. Yes, that's good. And then you, when, when the class is funny like that, you can learn so much easier, you know? Yes. It's easy for you to learn something. Yes, I think mm. so. Mm. Okay, so look at question number two. 
Do you think we should talk with the teacher about our personal problems? Now we're not talking about school problems. We're not yeah. talking about education. We're talking about personal problem like a boyfriend or a girlfriend or money or something like that or health. Do you think it's yes. okay for us to talk to a teacher about that kind of problem? Yes, I think so. Because uh, I think our problem in studying in the college or university, uh, it mm -hmm. is really important about uh, the problem at home, too. Yeah. Because yeah. Uh, there are many problems between uh, at home and at, at school, uh, really mm -hmm. necessary for improve our uh, studying in uh, class. I think it's really important. Uh, but maybe, uh, maybe the teacher, yes? Yeah, teacher, teacher maybe help us to solving uh, the problem at home and at uh, college. Teacher, yeah. teacher can be yeah. help, help, help me to uh, solving problem. Solve yes, problem. you're correct. Yes. Because the teacher probably knows more. Yeah. They have life experience. They are a teacher. They have learned. They, they are educated. Yes. So I, I agree with one you. More thing, one more thing. Um, you, I agree with you completely. The teacher will be neutral. She yeah. can think about the problem like the problem, not about you with a problem or the other person with a problem, you know? Yes. From a neutral point of view. Do you understand this word neutral? Do not be affected by things that we have, are affected by. Because if you have a problem with your child, then you will think that you are correct. And your child will think that he is correct. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nobody can be neutral because I want to be the one that is correct. Yeah. So a teacher will be able to not pick a side. Um, mm -hmm. Yes, I agree with you. Thank you very much for that. Thank you. Thanks, Kundur. Okay, I'm going to say goodbye to you. And if I can can open this microphone, then I'd like for Kunyuki now to tell me okay. about your favorite teacher. Uh, number two. No, number one, please. Uh, number your favorite one. teacher first. Okay. Yes. My 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 favorite teacher is uh, assistant professor Dr. Masi Asahilo mm -hmm. He 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 worked he he worked uh faculty of science and engineering he was the university yes. in japan uh, uh he he is he is teacher at least uh, wonderful 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 uh, so he was your teacher when you went to japan he was your teacher yes <laughs> oh wow <laughs> Uh, what kind of person is he like, Kunyuki? What what is his his personality? Is he like very kind hearted, very friendly, very open? What kind of person is he? Why did he impress you so much? Or it's about knowledge? Uh because because uh, uh he he is he is uh he is uh very good uh, new idea. New idea. Oh, okay. Good new idea. Everything mm -hmm. uh, uh, in uh, in research with oh. uh, engineering. Engineering. I wanted to write something for you. Uh, and maybe Kun Song can translate it for us. You can say he has an innovative mind. When people are so clever and they can get all kind of new ideas, okay. and we can say he is innovative, he's able to able to make a lot of ideas up. That those people are wonderful, you know. I really like them. My brother is a little bit like that. He can look at a problem and then boop, 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 the result, is, the the solution is there, and he can fix that problem very very quickly. Hmm. Okay, so um, do you think we should be able to talk to um, the teacher about our personal problems? Look at question number two. Uh, I, I think I think uh, I uh, I have problem 
with with uh, with Miley say Miley sir. Uh huh. I I I talk about uh, problem anything anything uh, new method for for magnetic magnetic field. Oh, but, but but that one is about it's not about personal problem. So can you when we say a personal problem, it's not about work. So if you have a problem with research then it's about the research. But if you have a problem with somebody in the team, maybe that person doesn't like you, or maybe that person is lazy, then that becomes a personal problem. So, Kunsom, can we define between work-related problems and personal problems, you know? Like personal problems, oh, my boyfriend is leaving me, or oh, my child is naughty, or I, hope I don't have any money, that kind of problem, personal stuff. So, what do you think about talking about personal stuff to your teacher? Yoki, I'm still with you. Look in the chat box. Can you see? Okay. Personal problem. Not work-related. So, can you discuss some personal problem with your teacher in Japan? Or can you only talk about work? So number one, talk about life, yes or no? Number two, talk about work, yes or no? So let me do this. Personal. Personal problem. This is the word. <coughs> Yuki, look on the, on the board. Can you see? Personal problems. Okay, I'm going to leave that with you. Think about it and then you can write, write me. Ah, oh, okay, yeah, not talk about the personal problem. I agree with you. It's a little bit scary to talk about a personal problem. <laughs> All right, Kunyuki, thank you very much. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> I agree completely. Okay, Kunkyo. Okay, who is your favorite teacher? <laughs> oh, my favorite teacher is Kali uh, Friendly. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, they have uh, more responsibility and, and try to yeah, take care of students. Mm -hmm. Try to take care of the students. I like that the sense of responsibility. I, I like kind. We don't use kindly, we say kind, she's a kind, and she's friendly, and uh -huh. she's a responsible. All right, so if we put that, kind, friendly, responsible. responsible. And, and then the focus mm -hmm. is on the student, not on the teacher, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, so Kun Kiao, do you think we can talk about personal problems with a, a, a teacher? Uh, yes, we should. Uh, because uh, because uh, some personal problem uh, affect affect my education. Uh, yeah, teacher, okay. uh, mm -hmm. teacher can help and uh, give me a suggestion for uh, to solve the problem. Uh -huh. Yes. Yeah. Mm. I know of a fact of of a place a situation. That, that a personal problem can affect the children's performance. Mm -hmm. When the parents get divorced, when the yeah. parents have a problem in the house, then normally those kids do not learn well. They don't study well. They cannot concentrate. And if the teacher knows about that personal problem, then the teacher can support the child, you know? Yeah. Otherwise, that child cannot be supported to help him through this very difficult period of my parents is fighting, my parents are fighting, no, but there's no love in the house. That is very important for the teacher to know. Mm, okay. Thank you, guys. I, we need to hurry on because we're on 19 minutes already. We're taking a lot of time now. So some you know that I don't do the free talk. Um, Kun Kao, I want you to read. Um, actually, no. Kun Kao, I don't want you to read. I want Kun Yuki to read. Okay, Kun Kao, I'm going to say goodbye to you. Right? Kun Yuki. 
Uh, can you read? Can you read the bold for me? Just the black letters. I want you to read this. Can you read for me, please? Yes. Yeah, may I talk to you? I want you to read this. Can you read? Excuse me. May I talk you, to you for a moment? Okay, this one? Sure. What is it? This last one at the bottom here, the black Thank letters. You. Thank you for your time. Okay, so those are the sentences that Topica prepared for us so that we can talk about this topic. So, Kunyu, I want you to talk to Kunyuki. Kunyuki, you are the student, Kunyu is the teacher. Please, can you read to each other? Yes. Uh, okay, Tisha. Excuse, excuse me. May I talk to you for a moment? Sure. What is it? What is it? I am so sorry. I don't have uh, my homework today. You usually turn in your homework on time. What happened this time? I was feeling well. I had a ter terrible headache. How are you feeling now? It's much better. I will do yesterday homework along with today. Okay. Take care. Thank you for your time. Okay, guys. So terrible is very bad. Okay. Very bad. I had a very bad headache. Terrible is just a word that can translate to very bad. Very bad. All right. So now, Kunyuki, I'm going to say goodbye to you. And I want Kunyu to become the student. And uh, Kunkao, you are the teacher. Okay. Excuse me. May I talk to you for a moment? Sure. What is it? I'm so sorry. I don't have my homework today. You usually, usually turn in your homework on time. What happened this I, time? I wasn't feeling well. I had a terrible headache. How are you feeling now? It's uh, much better. I will do yesterday's homework along with today's. Okay, take care. Thank you for your time. Okay, good. That's very easy. Um, can you, I'm saying, saying goodbye to you, Kun Yuki. Kun Yuki, yes. Kun Yuki, now you are um, the teacher and Kun Kao is the student. Excuse me, may I talk to you for a moment? Sure. What is it? I am so sorry. I don't have my homework today. You have just returned in your homework on time. What happened this time? I wasn't feeling well. I had a terrible headache. How are you feeling now? I'm much better. I will do yesterday's homework along with today's. Okay, take care. Thank you for oh. your time. Yeah. <laughs> okay, sure. Um, Kao, this word. Head this. Head ache. Ache. Head ache. Very, very sharp hard sound at the end. Head it's, ache. It's ache. Stomach it's ache. ache. Back okay. ache. ache. Any it's ache. It's like ache. Yes. Ache. Headache. Mm, perfect. Mm. Egg. 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 Egg.
So, Kunkel, you have a problem that you have to talk to your teacher. Kunjuki is the teacher. So, you're going to say, oh, oh, this is my problem. Okay, you have to pick a problem. <laughs> Morning, Yuki. Hey. How are you today? How are, How are you? you? How are you? I'm fine. Uh, How are you? You have to speak loudly. I'm, not good. I'm not good because I have a problem. Uh, today I I feel so uh, much. Uh, I don't I don't uh, I don't take my homework to uh, to turn to turn. Uh, I can I can't turn in the homework today. What happened this time? Okay. Okay. So, Kunyuki, uh, okay. what do you want to answer? Uh, uh, what? Uh, All right, let me help you. Are you? Are you still sick? Uh, now I, I'm better, but uh, a little bit, a little bit, so uh, so much. And I, I will, I will try to, to uh, turn in homework tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, okay. I, uh, um. Yes, I I submit it. I submit the homework. Mm -hmm. oh. Can you okay? You okay? Can you okay here? I have you choose the, the doctor so you can get better. Okay. Uh, today I will I will see the doctor. Uh huh, and I will tell you about uh, homework. I can, uh, I will try to do it. Um, uh, I can do it and send you tomorrow. Okay. It is okay as long as you are up your homework. Yes. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you, Sita. Okay, no problem. All right. Thank you. Can you, can you I'm gonna say goodbye to you. Can you now um you are the student and Kun Kao is the teacher. Uh hello teacher. Hello, how are you? I'm fine. I, I, I'm not bad now. May I talk to you for a moment? Uh huh. What happened? Uh, I don't know how to improve my English language. Uh, be improve your uh, English language? Yeah, uh -huh. be because uh, my, my English test score are very bad. I'm so sorry and oh. I'm very uh, worried about it. Do you have any suggestions for me to improve my English? Yeah, first you have to read more mm -hmm. and uh, sometimes you have, uh, you, you always uh, do homework mm -hmm. in English mm -hmm. and try to speak with your friend uh -huh. in English. Uh -huh. uh, and sometimes you go to watch the movie, yeah. try to uh, to to see the movie in sound tech. Mm -hmm. Sound uh -huh. tech, okay. Uh, but uh, sometimes I uh, I very often to uh, learn uh, the vocabulary and grammar every day. But uh, but I um, study and and then I forgot it again. I don't know how to how to do that. Uh, do you have any uh -huh. suggestions for me? Vocabulary. Yeah, vocabulary. I, I try to learn every day, but uh, uh -huh. I, and then I, I I try and then I forgot it again. Uh 
Uh, you have to read more. Mm -hmm. When you read, when you read, you add, you can improve your vocabulary. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. mm -hmm. And if you cannot understand some word, you can uh, open dictionary. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Oh yeah, I see. Uh, I will try. And thank you so much for your advice, teacher. You're, you're welcome. I'm down here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, you should you should try to make sentence with the new vocabulary words. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Could you? That's really helpful. If you have a new vocabulary word, every day you try to make a new sentence for that new vocabulary word. Not only look at the word and learn the word. Yeah. But try to use that word in a sentence. Then that word will stick in your head. Uh, I see. Okay, yeah. All right. Thank you, guys. That's great. Okay, so I'm going to keep Kunyut with me because he needs to help me with the words. We are doing vocabulary, Kunyut. <laughs> okay, <laughs> today <laughs> we're looking at the sounds of E and E, the longer one, that one, E. E and E. So here we have a word, and that word does not even have an I in it. But when we say the word, we will hear where the I is. Exact. E. Short E. E. Exact. exact. Same one with this. College. It doesn't have an I. But when you say it, that E becomes an I. It. College. All right. So let me read them all and then you can tell me where's the long E. Okay. I want you to tell me where the long E is. Can you please? So we are looking for this one in orange, the long E. But first, let me read them, and then you can read them, and then we'll talk about where it is. Exact, college, teacher, important, lead, English, feel, and miss. Your turn. Exact, college, uh -huh. teacher, mm -hmm. important, mm -hmm. lead. English, feel, miss. All right, so I can hear some long sounds. Can you hear some long sounds? Yeah, long sound. Yes. Like, uh, colleague. Uh, colleague. Uh, uh, no, 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 sorry. Uh, teacher, long yes. sound, <laughs> teacher. I think that one, yes. And lead is a long, and lead, long sound. Exactly. And yes. feel, feel. Let's check. Let us check to see if we're correct. Yay, look at that. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Can you read them again? Teacher, lead, feel. So if we know that it's a long sound, we don't want to make it really, really long. Mm. You can say teacher, teacher lead, lead feel. feel. Teacher, lead, feel. Teacher. If you think about that sound, lead, it's, it's longer than important. Mm. I, I, important, lead. It's a little bit, just a little bit <laughs> okay, thank longer. You. Uh -huh. uh, okay, thank you very much, Kunyuki. All right, so I'm going to go back um, to Kunyuki. Kunyuki, are you there? Please read them all for me. Exact. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Teacher. English. Will. Uh, I'm sorry. Will. Yeah. Miss. Miss. Okay. So I want you to read the short eyes for me here. Exact. Exact. English. English. Miss. Miss. English. English. Okay, great. So I'm going to say goodbye to you. Did them beautifully. Thank you very much, Kunyoki. Kunkel, um, your turn to read all the words for me, please. Accept. Polish. Teacher. Important. Read. English. Feel. Me. Great. So here, I need extra help from you. <laughs> you know that I'm going to have to do the common mistakes line. And on the common mistakes line, we know 
that we are looking for the um, red words. We are looking for the short E. Uh -huh. But here we have all the words in this line and they do not belong there. Some of them we have to take out. So I want you to help me to, to tell me which ones I should remove from this row of words. Can you tell me the words with the long E's? Yes. Mm. Yes. Mm. Perfect. Okay. So we know that those ones are here. Teacher, lead, and feel. Now I want you to read the short E's for me. Except, sorry, important, English, me. Perfect. Thank you very much. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. So, quickly, can you read the suggestions for me? Uh, may I talk to you for a moment? What is it? Thank you for your time. All right. Now the next ones that I want you to read for me. Uh, context one. Context number one. You don't know how to improve your English. Context number two. Can't join your class picnic because of your back ache. Back ache. Back ache. Back ache. Yes. Number three. You need some advice for the exam next week. Okay. So today, what we're going to do is we have a problem, and you're going to talk to me about your problem. What is the problem that you want to talk about? Uh, context number three. Number three. <laughs> um, just one minute. Continue. You can go on. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Morning. I'm sorry, guys. The lady who cleaned my house just arrived. I just had to say hi to her. Good. So, um, context number three. Good yeah. girl. Thank you for coming to see me. What can I help you with today? I have a problem. Uh, mm -hmm. I, need, uh, I need your advice for the next, the next, the, the exams next week. Mm. Uh, can then can you suggest me about uh, the exam because uh, I think I I I need no more time to 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 read the book or at revise the book. Can you explain me? Um, you know, Kunkel, if you have done all your homework throughout the term. And you understand everything. You you should understand the content of the exam, because um, I set up the exam with a lot of the homework information. Mm -hmm. um, is there anything about any of that? Maybe unit one or unit two that you do not understand. I can quickly help you with that. But if you study for your exam, I want you to think about everything that you did for homework. And if you study and review all the work that you did for homework, then I think you will be okay. Some topic I, I can I can't uh, understand. Some topic. So so do you know those topics? Uh, I can understand some topic. So the topics that you do not understand. Um, if you can tell me what those topics are. Then I will make some time for you tomorrow. Tell me what those topics are now so mm -hmm. I can look at them and tomorrow at the same time you can come to me for a tutor class and I will help you to understand some of those topics. Okay, thank you. Uh, please, please take this paper. Yeah, take the paper and write down the topics that you do not understand. And then tomorrow, the same time. Okay, tomorrow I will see you. Thank you for okay. your time. But, but Kunkel, you have to leave those names for me now. You, know, you have to tell me about the topics that you do not understand now. So write it on the paper and give it to me. Okay. So tomorrow I will see you. Okay. Um, Kunkel, when we talk about reading a book, when we talk about reading a book, like here, I read a book. This is a book for fun. This is my pleasure. 
So read a book is for pleasure. But if I study for the exam, not read a book. Yes, the action is to read, but the, the, the verb is not read. Okay, the verb is study. So when we are reading with attention and seriousness, then we say we are studying. But we just reading for relaxation and with our coffee, hmm, just reading, you understand? So when we talk about reading a book, if you say to me, I'm reading a book, then I think, ah, oh, she's having fun. So if you say read a book for an exam, change your words. I am studying for the exam. Thank you for your advice, teacher. Mm -hmm. The pleasure. Okay, great. Thank you very much. I'm going to say goodbye to you. Kun Yuki. Okay. Um, before you talk, I want you to read all three contexts for me. For me. I, 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 I choose contact, contact number one. But I want you to read all three. Because I want you to read number one, number two, number three. Read for me, please. Okay. Uh, you don't know how to improve your English. Uh huh. And join uh, your class picnic because of your bad head. Right. You need some advice for the, the exam next week. Okay, great. All right. So you want to talk about number one. Um, Kun Yuki, thank you for seeing me. Why did you come to see me today? You can say this. Let's start here. You can start. You can begin. Can you, can you read the suggestion number one? May I talk to you for a moment? Sure, you can talk to me. What is it? Uh, I. Uh, do you do you uh, do you, do you? I have read to this have time. do myself do to have do myself to do know how to improve improve my English. Um, I wonder, um, Kunyuki, at the moment, um, are you taking an English class at university? Uh, have you joined an English class? Yes. Uh, no, I, 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 I am not sorry, English class. I, 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 I speak, uh, I, 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 in my class group. Okay, so, so do you have time to maybe join a class? Mm. If you yeah, have extra maybe, time? Maybe sometimes, maybe sometimes join English, uh, with, with, uh, right? in general. That can right. work, right. yes. Writing. With writing, yes. Writing, yes. Writing, 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 writing sometimes uh, with paper research. In my in paper research, yes. Yes, there's a lot. Of, there's a lot of research papers that are that are written in English, and it's a problem if you cannot do it. You know. Kunyuki, you should join the class, the English class. There's a basic course in English at the university. You should join a class. Maybe you can use an online class like Topica to help you to improve your English. But if you join somebody like Topica, then you must review your work. If you have the lesson one day, maybe in the morning is your lesson, but in the evening you have to look at that lesson again. And you have to review that work again. And you have to try to speak the sentences that the other students speak by yourself as well. So even if you are not talking, if, you, if your microphone is closed down, you have to listen to what the other teachers, what other students are saying to the teacher and try to repeat their sentences. So you can not only say your own words, but you can say their words as well. And this is what will make your tongue have that muscle memory so that you can make the sounds that you need to make for English. Thank you. 
Thank you okay. for your time. <laughs> I hope it will help. But please join an English course. I sh I'm sure that will that will help you. Thank you very much, Kundu. Thank you for okay. your time. Thank you very much. Mm. Kunyud, hi there. Yeah. What do you want to talk about? I want to talk about the second topic, teacher. The same topic, number one. Second, huh? Sec oh, oh. I want to ch choose a uh, second, second one. The second one. Yeah. Okay. Um. So start start your start your uh, conversation, please. Yeah. May I talk to you for a moment, teacher? Sure, Kunyud. What do you want to talk to me about? I want to know about the class uh, picnics uh, tomorrow because I don't mm -hmm. know about this. We we are going to go out uh, on Saturday, Saturday to um to the park to have a picnic. Everybody is bringing some food, and we will put blankets on the on the grass, mm -hmm. and we will sit there and just have a picnic. Yeah, and where are we going to have to the picnic? What place? Um, excuse me, I cannot hear qu uh, quite so well. Can you speak loudly, please, Kunyu? Yeah, yeah. Where are we going to have the picnic? We are going to go to Lumpini Park. Mm hmm. Lumpini Park. Yes, everybody is meeting at Lumpini Park in Bangkok, right? Hmm. What time will uh, it will start? Well, we said we said we want to start at three o'clock, three yeah. to three thirty. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, and is there anything arrangement uh, for cultural programs? We have to excuse, arrange. Excuse me, Kundu. I cannot hear. I cannot hear well. Uh, please give me about uh, the. Any arrangement for this uh, activity? So, so for this activity, yeah. What what we need to do? You have to bring some food that you can share with other people. Yeah. And you have to to bring one English story that you can read. Uh -huh. Because everybody at the picnic will read one English story. Uh -huh. And we will share our food. Oh. And and at, at the end. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, teacher, I have any problem with uh, these uh, picnics tomorrow. Because, what is wrong? Because I had a back catch. I, uh, yesterday, I go to see the doctor uh, to check it. Uh, the doctor tell me uh, to last uh, a few days and the doctor gave me some medicine for me so i oh. ca i cannot join the class picnic tomorrow teacher sorry very i'm really sorry Kunyut, i agree with you if you have a backache you cannot come because we will sit on the ground yeah and it will not be very comfortable for you yeah. yes i agree with you thank you very much for letting me know thank you so much teacher you should take your medicine and you can you can rest tomorrow don't worry about the picnic i will make a note of the fact that you said that you that you had seen the doctor. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Thank you very much, Kunyu. Okay, guys, I'm going to open your microphones. So now it's time for assessment. And for assessment, um, we need to just talk about some things. So I'm going to start at the top uh, and see all of the things that I that I said um, to you. So, starting at the top, um, describe your favorite. Oh, neutral. The first word, a new word, I'm going to put it here in grammar. Actually, it's vocab. Um, the word neutral. Neutral means that you cannot choose a side. You don't, you, 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 you think about the problem, not about the person that brings the problem to you. To not choose as fine. And I know that Kunsom has put the translation for neutral for us there. The next one was innovative. Uh, clever with 
new ideas. When a person is very clever with new ideas, then they have an innovative mind. Um, personal problems, not work related. Now we're running out of space. Um, the word usually, it's normally. And um, terrible is to be very bad. I'm just reviewing all the new words that we said. Oh, and then the spelling of headache. Headache. Ache. Yes, ache. Yes, Headache. Head ache. Back ache. Head ache. Back ache. Back ache. Any ache, knee ache, anything. You know, um, ache is like the feeling of what? It's a very dull feeling. It's not a sharp pain. Sure. You can say, I have a pain in my arm, then it's a sharp pain. Like when you stab yourself with a knife, it's a little bit sharp. But an ache is a feeling like what, as opposed to pain would be jet. You understand the ache is, is different. It's a dull pain. Maybe you can help us with that. Please, Kung Song. There's very, a, a, a big, very difference. <laughs> There's a very big, big difference between the word ache and pain. All right. So, um, yes, I see Kung Song had to leave. Oh, no, she's still here. Um, guys, that's everything that I want to tell you that we need to change. Um, please practice the vocabulary again. I have a little, well, it's not a YouTube video. It's a file that you can read. Actually, it's multiple YouTube videos. You can read something and then you can choose the kind of video that you want to watch. It's about talking to your teacher about the child's problems. So you have a child. You're going to talk to the teacher about the child's problems, but they have different problems. So the one problem can be about support, getting support. The other problem can be about the, the score in the exam. The other problem can be about a naughty child. The other problem can be about emotional support for the child. So different types of problems. How do you start a conversation? This is what this website is about. It's pretty, pretty good. So you can try that out and try to see if you can listen and understand everything that they're saying. And that brings us to the end of the lesson. Today, we did our pronunciation sounds E and E, and we talked about talking to the teacher. And you have homework if you want to do it in this video that I gave you. And I want you to please go on the system to actually tell Topica if you liked the class. I cannot take this thing. There is not enough room. Tell Topica if you like the class. So let's leave that. Here. Please score the class, score the teacher, score the assistant, score everything that you can score. I've never been on that scoring system, so I don't know. You will know. If you don't tell Topica, we cannot change the things to make it better for you. Okay. Thank you very much for joining me today. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll see you again. See you. Have a nice day. Okay. Remember to review the lesson. Okay. Yes. Bye. Thank you very much. Pleasure. Bye. Good to see you again. See you. This question is too difficult. I don't understand. Hello students, my name is Durian. I'm trying to do my homework, but I missed the class and I have no idea what to do.
I think I need some extra classes with my teacher. In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to talk with a teacher. Now I better call her. Hello, teacher. Good morning, Professor. May I come in? Yes, good morning. How's your football practice going? Well, there is a problem. My mother is not happy about my missing classes because of practicing football. She thinks that my studies will suffer. Ooh, in this case, what do you propose to do? Well, I'm eager to play this tournament. I wonder if I can take some extra classes after school to make up for the lost time? Yes, it can be done. Uh, I can give you an extra half an hour after school every day. That's very kind of you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. This question is too difficult. I don't understand. Hello students, my name is Durian. I'm trying to do my homework, but I miss the class and I have no idea what to do. I think I need some extra classes with my teacher. In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to talk with a teacher. Now I better call her. Hello, teacher. Good morning, professor. May I come in? Yes, good morning. How's your football practice going? Well, there is a problem. My mother is not happy about my missing classes because of practicing football. She thinks that my studies will suffer. Ooh, in this case, what do you propose to do? Well, I'm eager to play this tournament. I wonder if I can take some extra classes after school to make up for the lost time? Yes, it can be done. Uh, I can give you an extra half an hour after school every day. That's very kind of you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Now, Let's keep going. We will learn some common words and phrases are often used when we want to talk with our teachers. Suffer Suffer To become worse For example, His schoolwork is suffering because of family problems. Propose Propose To intend or plan to do something. For example, I propose to leave town now. Eager To do something. Eager to do something. Very interested and excited by something that is going to happen or about something that you want to do. For example, everyone in the class seemed eager to learn. Tournament Tournament a sport competition involving a number of teams or players who take part in different games and must leave the competition if they lose. For example, 
He has won this famous tennis tournament. Extra class. Extra class. The additional class. For example, after classes at school, I have to take an English extra class at home. Make up for. Make up for. To do something that corrects a bad situation. For example, her enthusiasm makes up for her lack of experience. Okay, class, in this part we will learn some common sentences often used when talking with teachers. How is your football practice going? How is your football practice going? In this case, what do you propose to do? In this case, what do you propose to do? I can give you an extra half hour after school every day. I can give you an extra half hour after school every day. She thinks that my studies will suffer. She thinks that my studies will suffer. I am eager to play this tournament. I am eager to play this tournament. I wonder if I can take some extra classes after school to make up for the lost time. I wonder if I can take some extra classes after school to make up for the lost time. That's very kind of you. That's very kind of you. Good morning, Professor. May I come in? Yes, good morning. How's your football practice going? Well, there is a problem. My mother is not happy about my missing classes because of practicing football. She thinks that my studies will suffer. Okay, class, the first question. Does the student miss classes because of practicing football? Yes, he does. And why is his mother not happy about his practicing football? Because she thinks his studies will suffer. In this case, what do you propose to do? Well, I'm eager to play this tournament. I wonder if I can take some extra classes after school to make up for the lost time. Okay, the next question. 
Is the student eager to play this football tournament? Yes, he is. And what does he propose to do to make up for the missed classes? He proposes to take some extra classes. Yes, it can be done. Uh, I can give you an extra half an hour after school every day. That's very kind of you. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So, does the teacher agree to give the student extra classes after school? Yes, she does. And how much time can she give him? She can give him half an hour. is on the vowel sounds I versus E, an English pronunciation lesson. A common pronunciation problem for English language learners is distinguishing English's E sound, as in sleep, and the I sound, as in slip. It's important to distinguish these two sounds, though, because the vowel sound can be the only difference between two words. Changing the vowel sound can change the entire meaning of the word. How to say E. To create the E vowel sound, you must pull your lips back into a smiling position. This is why Americans say cheese when posing for pictures. Why? Because making the E sound naturally puts your face into a smiling position. E. How to say I. When saying the I vowel sound, our mouth is more relaxed and not stretched into a smile. In a neutral position, not too open but not closed. I. So to review, to distinguish E and I, focus on how much you stretch your lips back. Got it? Let's practice. Listen and repeat. Sleep. Slip. Leave. Live. Bean. Bin. Cheap. Chip. Read. Rid. Seat, sit, meet, mit, deep, dip, sheep, ship, heel, hill, he's, his. Him. Bean. Three. Meat. Sit. Vietnamese. Part 2. Listening. You will hear a conversation between a student and her teacher. The conversation will be divided into three small parts. You will be asked to answer some questions in each part.
Good morning, sir. What time is it? It's 9.40 a.m., sir. What time does the bell ring? The bell rings at 9.30 a.m. and I should have arrived before 9.30. Listening. You will hear a conversation between a student and her teacher. The conversation will be divided into three small parts. You will be asked to answer some questions in each part. Good morning, sir. What time is it? It's 9.40 a.m., sir. What time does the bell ring? The bell rings at 9.30 a.m. and I should have arrived before 9.30. Yes, but you came at 9.35. I'm sorry. What is the reason? I missed the bus this morning. You should have woken up earlier. My mother is ill and I had to do the housework. Why didn't your father do it? He's a farmer. He goes to the field early in the morning. Oh, I see. Now, show me your essay notebook. I left it at home. I'm sorry, sir.